Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new Fortnite video. Sorry it's been a couple days since I last uploaded. I was at a friend's house uh, the other day and when I got back I was really tired. But anyways guys, I'm getting right back to it now. So as always I want to thank you guys for all the support on the channel before I say anything. It means the world to me guys. Um, so thank you so much guys for all the subs and all uh, watching the videos and all the support and everything. Anyways guys, uh, I want to go ahead and remind everyone that 1080p quality is now available on all my all my uploads, all my recent uploads anyway. So if you are watching any of these videos and you go to the settings right here and you check, there will always be a 1080p HD quality option unless I specify otherwise uh, early on in the video. So just keep that in mind, that's there for you guys. Um, but I want to remind you guys, although this option is available, when you upload uh, videos to YouTube, it takes a little bit of time for YouTube servers to process the video. So when the video first goes live, it all these options, all these quality options may not be available. Like only 360, 480, like all the higher options may not necessarily be available immediately to you guys. But just know if they aren't, just wait couple minutes maybe 20 minutes and then the higher quality options will be processed and they'll be available there for you guys anyways guys if you already read the title for today's video you know that it's all about aim assist is it aimbot whatever you know this is this has been the great debate for a while uh, on Fortnite for the past year at least but anyways if you guys want to know where I stand on the whole situation Personally, I don't think aim assist is too OP. I mean, obviously I play on a controller, so I'm gonna be a little biased. But the main issues that I see that with aim assist is I think the L2 or the LT spamming is definitely very overpowered, can be very overpowered. Um, and I, I have never been one to use this tactic too much, but recently more and more as I've been seeing pro players have success with it and I've seen uh, I've seen the difference that it makes. I've been taking advantage of it more and more and abusing it. And I think the the issue of abusing aim assist uh, can really be a problem. But other than that, I don't think it's really too OP. And I still think that mouse and keyboard offers a lot more than controller ever can. And I I think that it will just always be that way. I regardless of how strong aim assist is at the in this current meta of Fortnite, I think that mouse and keyboard is still better. And that's why, if I can get myself to do it, I may end up switching to mouse and keyboard in the future, um, playing PC games or at least playing Fortnite. But for now, I am sticking with controller. And I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. And let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, uh, what you guys think about you know, aim assist and what you think about controller versus mouse and keyboard, you know, the advantages the disadvantages benefits drawbacks um, I'm because I'm really curious to hear your guys opinion so I know it's a really controversial topic so just let me know what you guys think and that's all for today's video I hope that you guys enjoy and have a fantastic rest of your day thank you guys for watching okay you guys go laser you're really
Wait, I hit him. What? I just hit him to the ramp. Oh, oh, that knocked him. What? Oh my god. Oh my god, that was... 